Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers to brains. This is part 8 of online shopping cart project. In our previous videos, we have seen till design of home page of shopping cart project. This part, this design was left partially done because we were making some changes in this entire project. All those changes which we have done till now in this project that we are going to discuss today in part 8. So the first change is updated flow of shopping cart project. So let's open the project. So on the home page we have added a stock parameter and that stock parameter will show the quantity of a particular product available for sale. Another change that we have done is when we click on an empty cart it shows the message your shopping cart is empty. When the user clicks on add to cart that particular product is turned green marked with a star sign and the message is changed from add to cart to add it to cart and the counter of the cart is incremented by one. So let us add two more products. In the shopping cart, we have three products. So if we remove one product, the counter is decremented and the product which was earlier added is again available for added adding to cart and it's like other products gray colored. One more change that we have in, in done in this project is we have included a quantity or the number of items required. By default the number of items for every product added to cart is 1. Suppose a user want to purchase 2 piece of this Krishna painting. So the total products will automatically get, incre get increased to 3 and the total price is also calculated. So let's again do it one. So it's two and one eight double zero. Suppose we want three piece of this. So the product is also total price and the total product both are changing. So let's place an order. There are two methods of payment. One is cash on delivery, another one is payment gateway. When user clicks place order, an email is sent to the registered email ID with all these details. So order placed successfully, transaction details are sent and email ID provided by you. And the transaction number, this transaction number is used by the customer for his reference so that he can track the order about the delivery status. For tracking the order in the footer of this website we have added a link track order status. On track order status user can 3 and go. So here it will display all the details like the customer details, product details and delivery status. The delivery status tab will be updated by the admin of this website about the delivery like is it the courier is dispatched or is deliver, delivered at the customer's house like that. So all these changes, these were the changes which we have done on the user side. On the end admin panel, we have included many functionalities. Earlier on the admin panel only, we have two pages, add category and add products. In add category we have not done any change. In add product 
we have included one more field like product quantity this will be displayed as a stock on the user side next is all categories it will show all the categories which are available for the shopping cart all this will show all the products with their price and the available stock and the category of the product next is customer orders customer orders will show the all the orders placed by the customer and the admin can click on view details and see all the details of the customer and the products which are purchased by the customer and update the delivery status like product ready for dispatch so this status like product ready for dispatch will be seen by the customer whenever user or the customer goes on the track order status and enters the transaction number next is product stock product stock is required by the admin to keep a eye on the number of products which are available on and which are out of stock so here we are included three parameters out of stock limited stock limited stock is from 1 to 10 and enough stock is above 10 so limited stock like laptops only 7 are available and krishna painting only clothes 18 are available so like this we this changes we have done in the admin panel the next part is admin panel added to admin master dot master so in the admin we have already discussed this adding this admin master dot page and this entire design part is already discussed in previous videos now what we have done is we have added an admin panel this update panel so that all the refresh which are going to happen on the admin part are restricted so we had a table earlier only this table was there so we have included this table in admin panel and we have named the admin panel as admin update panel to include to add this uh, update panel and make it effective we have to make use of script manager to add the script manager we have to go inside the ajax extension and from here we can take the script manager the next part is a small code change in the page load method of admin login in the admin login page on the page load itself the cursor should be placed in the login id text box so for that we have included this code txt login id dot focus what we are going to do on the login part this code is already discussed uh, in the previous videos the next is design change in add new products admin panel on the add new products admin panel on this page add new products we have included one more text box for text product quantity so from the toolbox we are dragging and dropping the text box here and we are naming it as txt product quantity and for that we are also making changes in the table structure so we have included like one more tr and followed by this this table tr is similar to the above one and in this tr we are adding a product quantity text and then a text box the id of the text box is txt product quantity so when user clicks on the submit button what is going to happen when user clicks on the submit button first there is 
they are upload upload we are uploading the product photo and after that we are passing all the information to be saved to the database so along with all this information we are just including this txt product quantity for this txt product quantity we are adding one more parameter in the shopping cart.cs file the shopping cart.cs file is part of business layer in this shopping cart.cs file we have included one more parameter like total products this total products parameter will carry the product quantity which is passed from the add new products page so this of this coding is similar to which we have discussed below uh, discussed in our previous videos and this total products will carry the txt product quantity dot text so this is a new change and once this add new product is done this add new product will call this method add, add new product and here we are including one more parameter so for to include one more parameter we are increasing the size of the sql parameter array from 5 to 6 and the fifth parameter will be at the rate product quantity the total products is the value which is getting passed from this to this and for that we are again making changes in sp add new product so in the products table we are again adding one more column to save the product quantity the product quantity to add to add a new column uh, first we have the shopping cart project database in the database we are adding we already have a product table in the product table on column section you can click on new column add product quantity int take this and save it so that will add a new column product quantity so when user clicks on the add new product category all this information is getting passed along with product quantity so the product quantity and all this information is getting saved by the store procedure sp add new product so in the shopping cart db we have programmatically we have sp add new product this stored procedure we have already discussed in this stored procedure we are increasing one more parameter product quantity the name of the parameter should be same as the being which which we have declared in the c sharp code and when we are inserting the records in the insert records whatever product quantity we are getting from here we are including that in the insert query so this will add a new record along with the product can product quantity also to display the message record save successfully when we add a new product we have included this first we are submit uh, because as we are adding an update panel so there there cannot be any post back so to get an alert for this we have to add a trigger to the update panel so from this notice postback method we are calling a method add submit events so here we are from this child page we are finding the control admin update panel which we have added just now so page dot master dot find control this will get the update panel and in in that update panel we are adding a trigger so update panel control trigger equal to new postback trigger and the id of the trigger is same as control id will be button submit dot unique id and inside that update panel we are adding a trigger so this will force the page to get refreshed only for this page the rest of the pages will not get refreshed even if there is a post so what we are doing is once the record is added to the database we are forcing for clear text the clear text will clear all the fields and then we are redirecting the page again to the add new products page with a, a query string alert equal to success so when we are redirecting the page the page will again get inside this notice postback it will get the categories add submit events and then it will check 
if request dot query string alert equal to success. So here we are passing alert equal to success. So it will get inside this and it will response dot write record save successfully message will be displayed. So let's do it practically. When we click on submit, we get a message record save successfully and everything gets refreshed. So this was because of this code, this add submit event method and this response dot redirect. And if we are not adding any photo, it will check upload product photo dot posted file is null. Then it will go in the else part and it will show a message alert please upload photo. This is actually response to write is to show the JavaScript alert message. So on this page, we are pretty much clear about the coding. The next part is the code change in admin, add new products admin panel. This code change we have already discussed just now. So as far as the new functionality of the shopping cart is cons concerned we have made changes to add category add products so this till this page everything is fine and in the next part of this video we are going to see how these product categories are displayed how this everything on the home page is getting bind how when we click on a particular category the products are getting filtered how the messages and, and all the codings are being taken care so thank you for watching this video you can subscribe our channel 20 fingers 2 brains also you can let us know your feedback about the different modules and if you are interested in making any other project from us please do let us know thank you thank you for watching our video